What up, players? It is Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to a video where I'm going to be showcasing off my new Patreon page. That's right, I created a page using Patreon, and uh, after a lot of, I guess, deliberation and just taking a look at the different options there were to help supplement what I'm doing at the com commission studio, I decided that Patreon would be a fun, great way to go because it it helps me to say thank you to my supporters, my patrons, my pat my patrons, <clears throat> my patrons, and give back to the people that are giving to me. So, I've already got one patron, so thank you so much, Zachariah. And uh, you could be become a patron by going to the link I'm going to put in the video description. For those of you, okay, so a year ago, I was a complete stranger to Patreon. I had no idea what it was, how to use it. All I knew was that it was something that a lot of people that I watched in the YouTube community, not necessarily hobbyists and miniature painters, but musicians, artists, video makers, they were all using it and they were saying, hey, check out my Patreon page, become a patron, help me help out my, my art. And I thought, you know, as the year went, I saw a lot more people doing it and I thought, okay, how can I use this? Because I was at the time just beginning my commission painting and uh, because I wasn't working on on much but the commissions in front of me, I didn't have ad, ad revenue. I wasn't monetizing my YouTube page. You know, I'm a firm believer that what you put on YouTube should be for free and uh, and all of that. And if people want to pay, they can go someplace else. Like, for example, my website has uh, premium content now where you could pay for some digital products like tutorials there and have that. But I, I thought YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all of the social media stuff, that should remain free. And so I took a look at this Patreon thing and tried to figure out, okay, how does it work? Like I said, I was a stranger, had no idea how it worked. Basically, it's a crowdfunding website where an artist will put up their, I guess over here on the left, summary of what they do, right? This is the preview video for my YouTube channel. I'm planning to make a Patreon-specific one, but just a basic description of what their art is and maybe some examples of their work. And then on the right-hand side over here, they give you the option to become a patron or to support support the artist by donating money, sometimes with every video, either every video, every time they produce a video, or in my case and in most of the cases of other people that I've seen monthly. So you decide, okay, I like this guy's work. I think he's really creative. I want him to c keep producing good work. I don't want him to give up his hobby because he has to get a 9-to-5 job just to support himself. So you go in and say, I think I can afford $1 a month. That's $12 a year. That's, that's easy peasy, right? So you say, all right, I'm going to become a patron and I'm going to go in at the $1 a month level. And then as the artist, it's up to us to figure out, okay, what are the rewards we're going to give? And everybody has different levels, different levels of rewards. So I've seen a lot of people that have $1, $5, 10 20 and I decided just because I've been doing it for so long I already have a built-in audience hopefully of people that watch my work and want to I guess share and learn the things that I'm doing I, I'm just gonna create a whole bunch of different tiers using the Hobbiton fiction as a kind of backdrop so if you take a look at the descriptions of, of each one the levels that you go in at kind of give you a, a description of how how important you would be to my channel, right? Because obviously if you decide to donate $15 a month towards my work, it's going to be more of an investment for you than if you were to just go in $1 per month. So like I said, Patreon suggests that you reward your patrons. So each one of my levels, I have included the rewards that you would get for donating that many amount. So Zachariah was my first ever patron. He donated, I think he donated five dollars but the way that the website I guess takes out deducts like transaction fees and online fees and credit card fees or whatever it, it kind of kicks you down to 450 or something so I didn't have a four dollar level but I did have a three and so he's getting everything that you see here all of the bullet points are rewards that you're going to be getting and okay this is where it kind of kicks in my uh, productivity it helps me to become more productive as a as an artist and it also helps me to say, look, I know you're going to be investing money into my work in the future, and I really, really thank you for that, and how can I show my appreciation? So every, every one of these rewards I'm putting very special attention to because each one of my patrons is going to be getting, uh, getting something 
for their for for their generosity. And so I guess that's basically how it works. You you take a look at whatever you think you can afford to give per month, or and you know it's not you're not locked in for any amount of time. You could say oh, I'm given I want to give one dollar a month, and then two months later you decide oh you know what I I can afford a couple more dollars. Let's do three dollars a month, or vice versa. And you can change your uh, your patronage level, and I you know, I think it's a great way to I guess encourage us as artists and to spread spread our uh, I guess our involvement in the community so okay here's my call to action now because if what, what I found when reading about patreon is that it's hard for people who first start to get support and to to become featured or to get um, recognition and publicity so here is my pledge to you that if you have a Patreon page and you uh, subscribe to me, then let me know that you have a Patreon page and I will subscribe to you back and I will I will support you. So if if you kick in a dollar a month per me for, for me, let, let me do the same for you. And that way we increase our own numbers of patrons, we increase our flow of income, and uh, we just kind of create this little community, right, that grows and grows and grows. And uh, I know a lot of people on YouTube don't have that, but this is really f just for you know people out there in the community that do have a Patreon page. I'd love to support you. I'd love to help you grow your art. And yeah, that's I, I guess that's basically it. Every time you you log in, it, it shows you also a level of uh, a goal that's currently up for. I guess the. Um, Gosh, I'm tripping over all my words today. The, uh, the the next goal that's that's up for grabs. So they encourage you to set a monetary amount, and when you get that much money, then you are going to be giving a goal. So I have right now. I have to switch mine around because I thought it was just total amount of money and not per month. But um, like my first goal is something very very simple. It's just putting my little Pekingese dog here, Duke, into more of my videos. Hopefully all of my videos. Just a little clip of him being cute and adorable. And uh, that way, it's something just a little bit different. You know, if I can get $10 a month, then I'll have Duke in more of my videos. And then as we go on, there's more um, more solid things like upcoming projects and products to buy to help support my studio, equipment to buy to help me just up my production level, and all of that. So. Think about becoming a patron. I'd, I'd love to have you be a patron. And like I said, if you are on Patreon and trying to grow your network of, of supporters, then let me know, and I, will, I would love to support you in that. Okay, I guess that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Uh, I'm going to be putting a lot more content up there. And oh yeah, one of my rewards I wanted to really, really quickly plug is the $3 a month level because I guess on Patreon they have a face a feed like on Facebook where the artist can put up content as much or as often as they want to. So from here on everything at the three level three dollars a month level and higher I'm going to allow access to that feed that will give you permanent access to it and it's going to be kind of like the May painting challenge was a post a day. I, once the new year starts this is kind of like my boot camp for it. I'm really going to be just working and jamming and putting out new content. And I'm going to be posting at least once a day. Not only what I'm working on in the hobby, but it could be anything. Maybe just a sentence that, oh, hey, I went to see the new Star Wars today. It was awesome. Definitely go check it out. It could be something as short as that. It could be even a whole fully written with pictures tutorial on the different brush strokes that I use. So it could be anything under the sun. Movie, television, reviews video game reviews or, or rambles on the hobby, hobby equipment, new kits that are coming out, trends in the miniature wargaming community, a anything. It's basically anything and everything, and uh, including I have to catch up on all of the models that I bought and put in, my, in these plastic bins that I haven't ever gotten around to because of all of the commission work I've been doing. But definitely check it out. I suggest you get in at that level if you if you want to support me and you just want extra War Boss Take content. Some of it is going to be video, but some of it is also going to be just written posts as well. And then more the, the more you go, the more, uh, I guess, rewards you get. I, I was trying to think, like, how can I make it worthwhile to donate so much money to my, uh, to my, 
my studio. So I think at the $15 level, I paint up a, a Space Marine at a War Boss level and send it to you, free shipping and everything. And the $30 level, um, we bought this calligraphy kit. I got to show this off in another video, but it's got like the red wax. And I bought a, 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 a seal that you can stamp the candle wax to kind of seal the letters. And it has the letter T on it in really cool gothic looking script. So there's just a bunch of rewards that I, I wanted to share with you and um, hopefully get you to think about becoming a patron of, of, my, of my studio. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Patreon, I'm still learning myself, so you can ask me and um, I'd, I'd be happy to share with you everything I know. But please consider it and thank you so much for supporting me and watching all my videos. I hope you have a great day. Star Wars opens soon. That's awesome. Let's get amped up for that and we'll see you in the next video.